Yeah. Management just asked me if I would consider fixing up a booth. Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Bex and this is my channel. Typically we go antiquing, thrifting, and sometimes we do some home decor because I own an antique booth at the Strasburg Emporium in Strasburg, Virginia. And today we are checking out my booth because I would very much like to do a flip. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of not digging what I did recently. I feel like I need to be more true to myself and my vibe and I'm not selling my hand painted signs as much because they're not on display very well. So I think I need to just, I need to change my vibe. I feel like I need to change from my eternal vibe of dark academia to industrial. So we are going to grab some measurements and check out the booth and see what I'm going to save and what I'm going to maybe, I don't know, sell online. I don't know yet. And then hit up Lowe's. So let's go. Okay, let's get started. Yeah. Management just asked me if I would consider fixing up a booth. To make a very long story short, last month I helped a vendor out with their booth, fixed it up a little bit, and they did really well in sales. So they just asked me if I would do another booth actually within the same vicinity as the one that I fixed up last month. This isn't my first time helping someone out around here. I actually am often asked to help people and no problem. I've helped many vendors paint, um, put furniture in their booths, clean up their booths, help organize it while they're away on vacation, all of the things. So this isn't totally out of the ordinary. So let's go check it out. First things first, I have to see what I'm working with. This isn't my space, so I'm not sure what inventory is in the booth or what furniture is available for me to move around. Because this isn't my space, I want to treat the booth like it's my own. With the utmost respect, I want to take the time to properly care for the booth. I can tell that I will be doing a lot of cleaning as well as organizing. I'm happy to help a fellow vendor and can already tell that they have some great inventory to work with. I'm going to start by organizing all of these knickknacks and tchotchkes and carefully put them to the side until I'm ready to put them on display. The historical artwork is actually pretty cool. 
I'm going to take the time to remove the frames off the wall, wipe them down and clean them thoroughly, and then hang them back up for shoppers to clearly see. I'm loving all of these shelves. They will be perfect for displaying all of the great knickknacks and toys that are available to purchase. I'm sure you've heard it before. There is a lot of displaying and rearranging and displaying and rearranging. It's all part of the journey. As you can see, I am in the home stretch. Only a few more shelves to organize and decorate, and then the big reveal.
looks fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think, Denise? Gorgeous. Thanks. Gorgeous. <laughs> you can see everything in the booth. Thanks. It looks fabulous. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope they like it too. <laughs> I gotta go and find maybe a lamp, some light bulbs, and extension cords. So hopefully they have some in the back. Well, my day didn't go as planned, but I'm really glad that I could help a fellow vendor out. If you liked today's video, hit the like button and comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully I'll be able to do my booth. <laughs> Till then, guys. Okay, thanks. Bye.